Hello guys, I am Tarun Joshi, a senior software developer at Evon Technology. This tutorial will guide you how to start with Android. So before starting the this tutorial, I am assuming that you have a basic knowledge of Java and, and Java install in your system. So for making Android application, we need an IDE. Like uh, we, you, you have heard about the Eclipse. Li um, similarly, Android provides an official IDE, uh, Android Studio. You can download the Android Studio from this link, uh, that one. Uh, after installing the Android Studio, you just uh, extract it on your appro appropriate uh, location and uh, run run the Android Studio. Okay. When uh, the Android Studio is l is uh, looks like this, and uh, this is a application structure. Uh, the uh, the uh, structure is like that. We have a manifest folder in which we have a manifest file. The manifest file is the uh, every uh, every ap uh, application must have an Android manifest file in in its root directory. Uh, this file uh, contains the Java package name of an application, which is a unique identif identifier. In the app, uh, the, app, uh, the manifest file contains the application tag in which you, you define all the activities that you use in your application. Activity is just a screen. Activity is just a screen that uh, you will uh, that will that 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 is visible on the Android phone. Okay, so uh, I'm uh, creating a new application so that you guys can understand how to create a application in Android Studio. So I'm closing this project now. Now you will get in the Android. Uh, you will get this type of window. Welcome to Android Studio. Your recent projects, if you have. Otherwise, you can create a start new Android Studio project. Write your application name. Uh, demo application. Okay. Now you. Now you have a uh, button. Next, click on the next button. Uh, you have to tell the minimum SDK. Uh, uh, the minimum SDK is something like that. Uh, that you guys hear about uh, lollipop, Kit Kat, uh, ice cream sandwich. So uh, you you have to select a minimum SDK. Uh, this application and the minimum SDK tells this application uh, can run uh, uh, on that on that uh, API level uh, or above. You can select multiple from this, like we have a jelly bean or here I am selecting ice cream sandwich. So that means the, this application will run on ice cream sandwich and the above versions. So click on the next button. Here you are. You, here you find uh, the uh, w w what you want uh, in a, in your launcher screen, like a blank activity, activity of fragment, full screen activity, and all. Initially, I am just using a blank activity. Now click on the next button. Here you can give the name of your activity, the layout file. Uh, the very good thing about the Android is it will create a view separate, separately. Uh, view is just an XML file in which you uh, declare all the uh, view items like button, keyboard, sorry, edit text, and uh, and screeners, text views, etc. etc. So uh, here is the title of the. You can change the title or any uh, an, anything you can write as per your uh, activity name. So finish. Now after finishing the application, the Android Studio is building our application. Yeah, here we are. This is our main folder. The manifest file, as I already told you, the manifest file is the main file of the application. It is like an index file. It will tell uh, the which uh, which activity will uh, launch when active when application when you start an application, and uh, it will also declare all the activities that you are using in your applications. Okay. Now this is a Java directory. In the Java directory, this this is your package. This this package is uh, included in the Android manifest file. You can see com.example.test.demo application, and 
this package is uh, this is the same package that we uh, the that we have in manifest file so in the manifest file we have a main activity yeah so from the wizard we created this activity this contains a layout so an activity uh, must extend uh, act, uh, any activity that you created must extend activity class activity is the base class like we have an object class object is the base class in Java uh, similarly we have an activity class now uh they are now the studio is asking for the uh, to uh, write the package name of this activity so the shortcut is just uh, type alt plus enter just click alt plus enter so uh, in the activity uh, the set content view method is used to set the layout of an of an activity so by clicking control and uh, left mouse key we we can navi we, we navigate we can navigate to the layout of our activity so you can see uh, the xml code you can see from here so uh, in a, in our skin we have a you can see in the design I'm just uh, zooming that one so this is just a text view which contains a hello world string a text view is something like a label that you use in Android Java okay so uh, we can add one more text view every view every view have two mandatory properties uh, layout underscore width and layout underscore height you have to uh, give this property otherwise the studio will show uh, the error so this is the mandatory uh, attributes of an of any view so text uh, text view text view here we can write uh, the text i am writing in this text view is hello again In the next tutorial, I will tell you about the layout that we are using a linear layout, linear or uh, relative and table layout, and many more. So, so here we are. We have a two. We have two text view. One is a uh, uh, one is showing hello world, and other one the other one is saying uh, hello again. This is a hello world. Okay. Uh, I don't know why it's not visible when this is screen. Let me see. I'm uh, let me check once again. I'm using a linear layout and set it orientation vertical and use two. Uh, text view the one is hello world and the second one is showing the hello again caption okay, okay now we run this applic uh, acti uh, now we run this activity class so for uh, uh, for run the application in the system we have a emulator a emulator includes a mobile de uh, a emulator is just a virtual mobile device that runs on your computer mm. so you can find an emulator from this link yeah i created uh, a nexus 5 emulator you can create your own uh, for creating a new em emulator just create on the create virtual device and uh, you can find uh, uh, you can choose any of the device so I'm choosing Nexus 5 again and next 
this is the API level lollipop and uh, uh, you, you can see that uh, many, uh, many releases are there that I have to that I need that I, that I need to download but uh, you can uh, you can download that per your requirement now click on the next here is the here you can uh, give the AVD Android virtual device uh, name as per your requirement I'm just uh, giving Nexus 5 now you can uh, show the you can select the orientation I'm for now I'm just selecting the portrait more and now finish as you can see that you have a Nexus 5 emulator uh, from this play icon you will you can launch yeah that's the Nexus 5 from this play icon you can launch the emulator and run your application ok I'm clicking on it uh, yeah. this, this is the emulator so uh, so running your application or launching your application you just click on this play icon yeah. it will take some time to execute no uh, yeah there now yeah now we have a dialog box with uh, with ask for to, to, uh, which asks to choose a device so currently I am running only a one emulator so I am selecting that one you can see that the launching here yeah as we use to uh, text you the one is hello world and the uh, second one is hello again you can see this uh, the emulator is uh, the application is running on the emulator. So this is the f this is just a first uh, tutorial. To, uh, so you can start an Android pro uh, programming from by the help of this tutorial. Also, I want you. Uh, I have a little bit exercise for you guys. Uh, let me open this. Yeah. Uh, the first is download and install Android Studio in your system. And the second, create your first Android application and run it in emulator. So, thank you guys. Thank you for your time and thank you for watching me. Bye-bye.